Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Rachel Cox and I do makeup and anything to do with beauty. I am a beauty lover and if you're a makeup lover like me, please share to uh, subscribe to my channel and click that bell notification to get notified of my future uploads. In today's video, it's exciting because today we are doing a review on the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. It is new. I want to see how this foundation does. Stay tuned. So this foundation is when I saw the ingredients, I almost didn't buy it uh, because like I have my NARS Radiant Foundation, but I saw the claims, I saw the pictures, and I was gagged. Now, I did try a little bit in store, but just to see the shade and like how it performed, but the claims are right here. It's vegan, cruelty-free, alcohol-free, clinically tested, dermatologically tested, op ophthalmologist tested, non-comatogenic, non Genetic, can't even say these words, suitable for sensitive skin, long wearing, and no flashback. I'm really excited because, like, it's supposed to be really good for your skin, and, like, yeah, and, like, can't even pronounce some of the stuff, so, like, you know, it's good. <laughs> but this is the component. It's so sleek and beautiful. Like, I'm obsessed, and I love how this foundation, like, the foundation, like, everything about it is just so clean, and, like, it's so like luxurious looking and this retails for uh $36 I believe um but about probably like 40 with tax um so it's not bad for the price point here this baby is and I bought you guys a bit close I'm gonna get even closer so you can really see how the foundation looks I did already prep my skin and I already have my primer on it's the milk hydro primer so I'm just gonna shake this baby up. Oh, and I'm in the shade 140N. And I do have dry skin too, so like I'm really excited because I tried a little bit on the store with no skincare and it looked good. Like it looked good with no skincare. So I have skincare on, skin's prepped, I'm ready to go. Guys, quick little thing. I'm going to BeautyCon and I'm so excited and I'm gonna be wearing the foundation like honey, yes. But actually only if it's good but I feel like sure it's good. And I'm also gonna be um, doing check-ins with you guys too. Um, I'm gonna be doing uh, check-ins with you guys. And yeah! Oh, and here's my new nails, by the way, for MediCon. They're so it's pretty and stunning. Anywho, let's get to the foundation. Here we go. And this just launched too. And like, ooh, this feels good too. It, ooh, so I'm pumping it out and the pump feels really nice. It doesn't feel, I'm used to the NARS Radiant Foundation. And the pump, it doesn't pump out a lot. This is pumping out a good amount. You don't have to keep pumping. And um, it's really, like, dense. Um, it's really nice. Like, it's not, like, a loose thing. So here we go. I'm going to just dot it all around my face. But I pray to God, because it's supposed to be, like, oh, uh, like, as it said, like, I believe water resistant. Um... Oh, it's long wearing, but I'm pretty sure I heard like it's waterproof, water resistant. Um, and on the back here, it also says a medium coverage foundation with a luminous natural finish. Um, I kind of watched some other people's reviews just a little bit, like one or two, and they said it was really good coverage. Actually, James did a video on the foundation. <gasps> good that thumbnail, honey. Just kidding. But oh my god. I'm already blending it and I'm already seeing it's gonna be pretty. It looks like I'm gonna have to build it just a little bit. But whoa, guys, do you see that? It's unlike the NARS foundation, I knew it. Like, unlike the NARS foundation, um, it's not as thick. Um, I'm just comparing it. It's not as thick as the NARS. It's thinner, but it has great, it has pretty good coverage. Right now, with that, it actually is looking like a medium coverage. So here's that, and I do have a lot of cluster, but um, they don't look really dry. Maybe, except maybe this one, but. Powder and everything at the end should help it. Oh my gosh. I am gonna have to build it, but like, um, sometimes, like, I don't know. If they're like lightweight like this, they don't look good, but they, it looks good. I'm gonna get some more on the uh, sponge. But I think it probably is like four pumps right now. But I do have a, quite a bit of like acne and stuff. But I love a good full coverage. But I'm shook because like it goes right into the skin. 
and it, the consistently consistently is a little bit like NARS but like it goes into the skin on like like um the NARS I have to work a little bit and harder but like this is working good and look it's definitely buildable like that just covered more of my acne and rather than just like sometimes if I cover it it'll show like red just still and I'm getting a little bit of that but not as much it's just smoothing everything out I can tell already this foundation is hopefully going to be good. Like it's really luminous and it's going right into the skin and it doesn't look cakey. Also I did try, uh, cause I have a problem with foundations going in my, um, my wrinkles and stuff. Um, and when I tried it in store, I didn't do that. So hopefully it doesn't do that. But I think once you put it on, it sets and look at that. It looks good. And look at it on camera too. It, it is like lightweight as like they said like and I really enjoy that. But it is really radiant. Let me look up close. For some reason my skin no well it looks smooth. I don't know how to describe it. Actually, it looks good. Just my skin look kinda on my nose it kinda looks interesting, but it could just be the lighting, like the lighting just showing everything. But I don't know if you can tell, but like, it is very like radiant. It's very radiant. It's actually pretty nice. I can't wait to see it set down, but like, it's looking nice, guys. It's not as like, like it's um covering, but it's like lightweight feeling. Like I don't feel like, like I'm sucking my skin. And I, let me know if you guys want to see um a battle between the NARS foundation and this foundation. I can already tell this foundation is definitely more radiant than the NARS um, radiant long wear foundation. But I want to test them, but let me know if you guys want to see them test. Let's see my nose. Like, on my nose, it looks smooth. Oh, and I did also shave too, so, like, my face today, so that could be why, like, it's almost like my skin is just being really dry, but, like, I think my skin being really dry is just my skin. Like, to be honest, it looks really good. I wish it just had a bit more coverage, and but with the same luminosity, but, like, you can build it. And I'm gonna build it more. Why the heck not? Put some right there. But it definitely builds really good. It looks amazing. It, when you build it, it doesn't go cakey. But it really looks like skin. It has, I know like, I don't know, I'm probably like repeating my words, but like, I'm trying to like phrase it for you guys. Like, it's, um, it has like, um, a, like a skin-like appearance, um, but you can build it to that full coverage, but it won't look heavy. I think this is gonna be perfect for people with dry skin. But people with oily skin, however, I don't know how this would be. Like, as long as you set it really down good, I think people with oily skin could wear it. Sometimes I get oily on my nose just because how radiant it is. But, like, I feel like as long as you set it, you'll be fine. But it is a long wearing foundation. And I don't want to forget bring it down to the neck. And also, like, this shade is really good. In store, it looked warm, but I think it was just the light. Like, look at that shade match, honey. Like, that's not bad at all. Oh my gosh. So, the NARS foundation would normally, like, um, start to crease already right here. This is not creasing. I think it's definitely comparable to the NARS, but, like, it's different. Like, it's a little less coverage, which, I mean, I don't personally mind because it's looking really good. Alright, so let me do my rest of the face. I'll speed up uh, the face, and then um, I'll... Uh, show you guys what the face looks like at the end of my makeup and then what my face looks like um, in like two or three separate check-ins and I do work today so we'll get a test that too I'm literally so excited so stay tuned okay guys sorry for stopping the um, thing real quick it is starting to crease just a little bit nothing like um, bad and I haven't said it yet, so I'm gonna set it. I just wanted to let you guys know.
barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. All right, guys, so this is what my face looks after doing my like just the face i'm gonna do some eyeshadow um put on a little bit of mascara and then um i'll show you guys my thoughts and then we'll go into the check-ins thank you guys for staying and hopefully you stay for the rest of the video all right everyone i just finished my eyes and um so my face has been sitting and it is looking good i'll just do a little like um let me take a close look. Okay. So my line right here, it's not like it's creased. Yeah, it has creased a little bit. I don't know if you can see right here. But like it's not like like the product isn't settling. Like sometimes like it um foundation can do it's just like sitting there, which is fine. It looks really smooth. This looks really smooth with the powder and everything. Um, I think it's just my pimply pimpled skin that's gonna look dry but everything else looks good smooth like especially on this side it's really like supple looking and um it does kind of re remind me of the NARS foundation um after I set everything but um I probably like I do powder a lot though because like I work and like to keep it like set but um it looks really nice so far no complaints as for my pore area um they do look like, smooth and like filled in um, you can still see them, but everything's just smooth. So you guys, guys, I have one light on, and it still looks good. Like, no complaints. Oh, it's 12.05 probably now. It was 12.02 when I started recording, but by now it's probably 12.05. So, um, I'm going to do a check-in probably, um, at the four-hour mark. Actually, no. I'm going to do a check-in at the two-hour mark, so at 2 o'clock. And then I have work from 3 to 8 today. So I'll do my check-in at, like, 6, 15 and maybe get my friend's opinions because my, I'm supposed to be meeting up with my friends soon. But, yeah, everyone, let me zoom you out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review so far. And stay tuned for the check-ins to see how the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation is holding up. Oh, my God. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I didn't check in, like... A few hours later this is like six hours but like oh well <laughs> but oh my gosh the foundation looks even better than i first applied it it looks supple and it's been six hours and it literally looks like i just put it on and even better like i think it's my natural oils and stuff um here's and this is kind of harsh lighting but look i also i'll insert i insert some footage um of like when i was walking out of a store and stuff um, and the lighting, like, it looks so good. So, I'm gonna check in, um, at the 10 hour mark. Oh, it's, like, 8, uh, 30, so I'll check in in, like, 12, 30. See you in four hours. Hi, everyone! So, like, this is my second check-in. It's almost 12, it's, like, 11, 45. And my eye makeup <laughs> came off because I was, like, rubbing it. But, like, um, yes! I was, like, rubbing my eye makeup and it, like, came off. But anyhow, what do we think? I was watching the footage I'm editing as we speak, um, and like up close when you look at it, it literally looks like on like any foundation when you zoom in. I'm shook. It really look like a train wreck for some reason. And <laughs> don't clock me. All right, guys, this is my last check-in. It's about like 12:30 or so, and I wanted you guys to get input from my friend Annie. Wait, 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 wait. So, what do you think of my face? Let's be honest. I think it looks beautiful. <laughs> I think really? it's one of the best foundations you've used, actually. I don't think she can see her. It does so much. It does so much for you. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I hope no, you guys. <laughs> <you can't. laughs> Alright, this foundation is freaking amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share to subscribe to my channel if you like this video, if you are a makeup lover. And. Um, stay tuned for more videos, and, um, if you guys can get the foundation, do it. Have a great one. Um, it's, um, let's see what time it is. What time is it? Did you just pull something? <laughs> 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 no, I can't.